app looks awfully similar to the app that we just saw on the desktop device. So the maps assets they were able to reuse, a lot of content they were able to reuse, and then they tune it a bit to make sure that it works great on mobile. They don't want it to feel like a desktop app ported to mobile. They want to make sure that if they're building an application, they've got a mobile code base that they've tweaked a little bit, and they can still show you, now I have touch screen instead of a mouse, so the hit targets are different, the UI interaction is slightly different, the buttons are on the top instead of the bottom. They made the tweak that they thought was necessary to have the best experience possible to have the same information, the same data, the same experiences span those multiple screens. So that's, that's really the key idea. So Air is enabling that, the Flash platform in general is enabling that, and I'm focused specifically on the Air team on making sure that the outside of the browser front that works really well. So it's nice to see Adobe building applications and all, but I think it's more fun when you look at what other people are doing. So we have a pre-release that we announced at Google I.O. And, um, and with that pre-release, we've seen developers creating some fun applications. We just looked at the Adobe Directory app. We also have a screen sharing app called Connect. I'll skip past that so I can show you some more non-Adobe things. Um, one good example here is this app called uh, Flash in the Can. So there's a conference this week, um, or Flash in this week, um, that's happening here. And someone built an Air application to help people find basic information about the conference, schedule, workshops, form information of this nature. And so this is all built using Air 2.5 uh, on Android. And I can flip through a variety of features and pieces of content here. Now, there's also other applications we can look at. Uh, there's a really nice YouTube experience. So someone built this guest tube app where I can actually search through YouTube content and play popular videos. And uh, like with Flash Player, you can still see and have operated you know, video content in Air as well. Again, the, the two runtimes are very similar. They share a code base. We separate them only for security reasons. And they have additional functionality available to developers to support the applications once they produce the browser when necessary. So there's a there's a, a movie playing a video. And as you expect, I can watch this, I can click through videos, I can search for other videos as well. So I can also look at other fun applications. There's a there's a, not surprisingly games. There were some questions before about how do I bring games into applications outside the browser on Android. And so we are seeing developers who have those experiences and skills tuning their games and making them work on Android as well. So this is a Meteor Storm game. And uh, this genre is uh, something that you may have seen before if you uh, play with Android games, but I can shoot at them to come down, have a pretty fun, good experience. It's definitely loud here. I hope you can hear it too. <laughs> and uh, I'm not really good at it from this top. <laughs> <laughs> that said, there's, you, know, you, 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 you do see a fair number of games of of course, that's one of the big interest points, and there's a lot of game content in the market, so that's what developers are seeing money. That's one of the genres they're focusing on. So here's a pinball-style game called Pogs. I can shoot this ball and sort of play around, and people are having fun with physics. They're generally uh, having some uh, interesting drafts of the games that they're looking to put on the market as soon as we actually, you know, as soon as we actually finish air. I don't know if we've all just been drinking Pinball. So, so, so don't leave. Um, <laughs> Outside of games, there's other things we're seeing as well. There was actually a, an app posted on Get recently. This is a, called X-Wing. So uh, I thought I might demo that briefly. So I can say start, and this is a, gives you the fun sound effects, and you get the targeting computer, and that number is actually roughly how far we are away from the San Jose building for Adobe right now. So if we started moving, we'd get closer. Unfortunately, we're stationary. <laughs> Uh, sure. Well, I, thought, I one of the reasons I, I love that app as a demo is because it shows, you know, it, it uses, you know, sort of the like the real time collaboration capability of the Flash Player, and that works, of course, on Air. And you can connect to another different application, and like, I don't know if we can demo it through another connect. Yeah, that was just another um, fun. I think we demo it. I can talk a bit about it. Yeah, we've got a great experience with connect team working on this. They they were looking at this use case, which is screen sharing, chatting to each other in a meeting, is something that Connect does exceedingly well. Can you actually explain? Sure, so Connect is a service offered by Adobe that uh, it's a Adobe Acrobat Connect, and it is a 